What's up, YouTube gang? We're out here at the Mickey D's parking lot getting things started off right with some sausage, egg, and cheese before we head up to a fire pond we know about in Oklahoma. We're traveling with Pond Boys and Chef Bad Bass, and we even have the bona fide yaks. Courtesy of the Guggen Squad this morning, we're ready for an action packed day. Let's go ahead and get into it. What's up guys, we just pulled up, getting the yaks ready, tossing the seats in, the boxes, getting all the gear out of the truck, the rods, the reels, all the goodies, we're about to have a bunch of fun. This is actually a private elk ranch that we have access to because of one of the regulars at the restaurant I valet at, and Chef is actually the head chef at, and uh, so we got access to a spot that not many people get to fish, it should be a ton of fun, the bite should be hot, let's go ahead and get these things rigged and in the water. Before we get started, we would like to take a second and thank Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video. We're actually going to be throwing quite a bit of these baits throughout the day. Devin and I get two boxes per month and they're even slightly different in what's inside and so we're going to kind of have a little head-to-head -head fun while we're out here in Oklahoma just seeing who can maybe snag a bass on every single bait in our box first. So let me open up one real fast. I'm going to show you what's inside, brief description, and then we are going to get to fishing. So first off, we've got some dead bolts. This guy is a one-tenth ounce mushroom head jig. Perfect for this right here, we've got some Sakoshi bugs. Think Ned Rigs on this thing right here. So this is the perfect little Ned Rig combo for these bass in here today. I've never used this. They call it the Big Wiggle Bomb. It's a frog with a bit of a paddle tail. I don't know if this is strictly top water or if it's slightly subsurface. I'm assuming it's on the top. We're gonna throw that little frog. We also have a unique crank with a little rattle. This looks like it dives uh, zero to two feet. This is going to be pretty sick. This is by Original X Gear Lures. This one looks pretty slick, the Hula Popper. We've been actually pretty excited about these things and never used them and just got one in this month's box, which is why we love the subscription service so much. If you guys are unfamiliar with Mystery Tackle Box, you get different baits every single month on the subscription service and you can actually try your first one with the link in the description below for as low as $5. All you got to do is use code Weston at checkout on your first box, you guys. Next up is some 4.75 inch Exo Swim. Uh, I call them trailers, they're swim baits, but for me oftentimes I'm using these things with something like a chatter bait and so that's probably what we'll do with them today as well. Or you could go just something like a weighted belly hook, have a little bit of fun, maybe even use something like a flash bang for a little extra effect and sizzle. And that is everything inside of the first box. Let's open up the second one. So Devin wants to use the hula popper, so that makes this box hers because the other one I don't think has a hula popper. Let's quickly go through the second box and we will get to fishing. We've got some Riot creature baits. They look pretty sick, nice natural color. This is clear water today and so I think it's going to go good. I've also got a crankbait of my own and it looks like a decent color for this water clarity right here. We have a zero to two and a half foot depth crank. This is going to be perfect on something like your lighter 12 pound fluorocarbon to really get down that full depth rating. And look at what else we've got, the baby bullshit. I know Devin's jealous behind the camera right now because these are sick and going to catch some fish here. It's a beast. And then I also get a finesse jig. This is pretty cool, black and blue. I've got some smaller craws that I'll probably use, or you could even toss these creature baits on possibly. We'll see what's gonna happen with this jig. And then we've got this big old like football. This is the Papa Mer jig. I have never seen a jig with this size of a weight. This is basically a full ounce weight. I'm not used to using them so heavy, but I'm definitely gonna give this thing a toss today. And then what else have we got in here? Oh, we have little craws for the sweet. So we've actually got little crawls included and I was just talking about it. So that's perfect. We're going to throw those on the tail end of the jig and it looks like we've even got some drop shot baits as well. Yellow worm looking deals. About three inch. Perfect for drop shot. So we've got a wide variety of baits to be thrown today along with our regular baits. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we just got out on the water. Since we're over here in this little pocket covered with trees and I've got the whopper plopper on me, I'm going to just give it a few casts. So let's see if we can't get any hits on top water. All right, let's stand up, man. I'm gonna get started. Devin's in the trees. I'm gonna throw this frog for just half a second, this clear frog I actually got from Carl's Bait and Tackle, and see if I can't get anything along this bank real fast. Should be a little bit of fun. This was not in the mystery tackle box, but... Oh, there we go. Oh, first throw with the frog. First throw with the clear frog. Wow. Almost had the first fish of the day as I'm just talking about the intro here. Uh, but yeah, we got this little clear frog from Shop Carl's. I'm just working it off this bank real fast. Just got a hit on the first cast of the morning. There we go. So you got it? Got him. First fish on the frog. Uh, got him. The first bass is a little bit fatter than the last time we were here. They were almost all skinny on that last uh, trip out. 
check it out first bass of the morning guys about 10 minutes in on the frog healthy looking bass let's get it and that's on the frog they said wasn't gonna catch nothing you guys I got a lot of comments about this one on Instagram. Check me out. It's a clear hollow body frog. How cool is this thing? For something different? That's the only reason I wanted to get it. Just to see what all is out there on the market and have a little bit of fun for y'all. Check us out. Clear topwater frog. Doink. Got him. Got him. Number two. Oh no. Oh, he came off. Rats. It's so shallow and clear right here. This is awesome. And I screwed it up. Dang it. There goes one. There he is. Ah, yes. All right. Clear frog is on fire. That's sick. I wonder if I got my camera. There we go, bud. Gotta be something in these trees. Uh oh. <sighs> Watch your frog around trees, boys. First one on that hula popper, and this dude choked it. Check that out. Is that the hula popper? Oh, dang. I gotta catch up. All right, first one in the morning for me on the hula popper. First thing, and this guy devoured it. So not a bad first fish for the day. And that was the first one for me out of the mystery tackle box. He just slowly went. <laughs> that was cool. So this is the first time using a hula popper for me. We've heard a little bit about them. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how to work it. I've just kind of been doing bigger pops with it. It's kind of deceiving because it's like, oh, is that a blow up? Wait, wait, is that a blow up? And then it's like, oh, oh no, that's actually a fish. <laughs> so. Uh, so still trying to figure it out, but give me a few more catches and I think we'll get it dialed in. All right, let's get into this MTB box and see what we got, folks. Ooh, the crank. Well, I have a feeling I'm just going to tie that on and knock this one out real fast. Let's go ahead. All right, check this thing out. Rigged up on the white bird. It says like F, like floating, but then also it says it dives down to like two feet maybe. I don't even end up and get a look at this thing as I bring it back on the first retrieve here. Yeah, he stays pretty close to the surface. Really got a good wobble. Perfect color. Let's get it in there. I got a feeling it won't take long. Oh, got him. First cast. Or maybe second cast. Oh, it's a crappie. It's a crappie on the crank. Uh, I don't remember this spot as much. There we go. There goes that crappie. Let's try and get a bass on here. There we go. There we go. Got one. Yes. That's a bass. All right. That's what we needed on this thing, my Bob. We are drifting right into the tree. That's not good. Okay. Well, we're actually perched up. Digging this little crank. There we go. First bass on this guy right here. Sweet. Knocking it out. Let's see what's next up on the list. I feel like I just got to bust open this baby bull shad. I'm digging this color too. This is the bluegill color. And uh, we are about ready to toss this thing. Swim bait fun. Let's get it over here in this end where I think it's just a little bit more shallow. It should be an easy chase, but we'll see if that's actually the case or not once we get them tied on. Check this guy out. Multi jointed swim bait. This baby bull shad is a super sick little lure. All right, 17 pound fluorocarbon, Palomar knot. Let's get this thing in the water. Full send, first cast, baby bull shad. Let's go. Uh, I forget the action on this if it's I'm cranking it pretty fast. I don't know if it's wobbles a lot unless you go slow. Oh, yeah, it does wobble a lot. Oh, that's sick I think it just gets more and more shallow. Oh my god. We just got hit. Wow. Oh, he's going after it. he's got it He's got it. There we go right out of the shallows on the baby bull shed. Awesome. My biggest one in the morning, maybe Yep, that's a solid two pounder about on that baby bull shed and that was not too many casts in did not take long on the baby bull shed they're hungry this morning. That's one of the good things here. Baby bull shad catch right there, guys. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is why we like throwing those swim baits. You never know what you might get. That's a solid two pounder. And look at how shallow it is here. This is just super sick. Let's let them go in this clear water. Off to the races. Dope. All right. 
right, next up, I don't even know, man, I don't even know what to do. Look at this jig, oh my gosh. Should we just throw this big old jig? I think it'll get hit. But here's the smaller jig, and there's a little craw. Kind of mismatched color. I think we should just do that. Let's see what happens with this combination right here. Here we go, guys, the little excite bait craw right on the back of this jig. We're going black and blue and green just because it's the colors we were given and I think we can still get a bite. Definitely finesse, that's for sure. Not necessarily the perfect color combo, but let's just uh, let's just throw it. Stand up right here out of the shallows and toss it around. Oh, that was fast. That was fast. First cast, oh, in seconds, in just seconds we had a bite. Oh my gosh, he was on the hook for a second too. And then he came off. No way. Literally took a pincher off the crawl. Oh my gosh. Re-rig. I don't know about y'all, but I think the bite is on over here at this pond this morning. Re-rigged. Let's go. Second cast with the jig. He's on. Bites. He's on. He's on. Yep. Yep. Is it bigger? Oh, he's decent. Yes. Oh, <laughs> jig fish, guys. Another almost two pounder. Yes. Super sick. And I could throw this jig for a while. I'm digging the hook sets. Let's go. Drifting down this bank, throwing the jig right at the shallows. He's got it. Yep. Sweet. Yes. Oh my gosh. Nice. Just letting a little bit more line out that way I don't uh, that way I don't high stick these things on the way in and snap the rod tip. But there we go, second one on that jig and plastic combo. He uh, tore up the craw. We're gonna have to use the last one in the bag if I'm not mistaken. But sick, another bass in the yak. MTB challenge going hot. Oh, yep, come on, come here, bud. Gotcha. No, sir. On the lips. Little crankbait from the mystery tackle box. I will take it. Bye, George. Instead of using this last craw, I'm gonna actually... Do y'all wanna have some fun? Let's have some fun. Watch this. Instead of doing a drop shot, I'm gonna put this on the jig and see if I get bit. This will be nuts. Look at this. This is some stuff you do not see on television right here. This is why you subscribe to the YouTube channels. I'm betting this is gonna get a fish right here. Watch this. Watch. I don't know if I should jig it or swim it. It's like the ultimate, this, this could be the ultimate bait. This could be like a swim or just a pop along the bottom. This is gonna be so funny. I'm messing around. I literally just had a fish on and didn't set the hook because I, I I felt it was heavy, but I thought it was a tree. Interesting. He's got it. Oh, nope, he doesn't. Dang it. Yeah, I've been crushing it with the box back here. They're, they're, they just bite. Yep. Oh, no. BS. Oh, God. Devin's hit me in the kayak. I'm about to fall out of this thing. Guys, this jig and worm combo is like getting eaten right now. It's literally white, yellow, black, and blue. And I'm missing every hook set. All of a sudden, it's like bad juju with this plastic. And the wind is blowing me straight out of here. Now Devin's getting into the prime zone. She's going to beat me. Crap! Oh, yep. Yep. Decent one, maybe. Black and blue with the yellow tail. <laughs> this, is, this is why you can have fun with these mystery tackle boxes, guys, and not take fishing too seriously. Because... Oh, God, because you never know when some crazy stuff is going to happen in the yak. Oh, God, now he's in the back. Oh, this is bad. Okay, look at the aftermath. Super awesome catch on the bottom. Oh, man, are we not having fun this morning with the MTB challenge? I think that's like almost everything out of my box. I got one more jig, and then I'm like almost done. Back in the water, little guy. I got to win. We have these riot creature baits. We've been using the Excite Craws. 
and uh, we basically burned through the whole bag. <laughs> it's kind of like a sampler platter today. We also use this crank, that's this guy right here. Caught a fish on him pretty quick, extra dope. And then literally all we have left. All right guys, we're going off the wall once again. And I say that because this is a super heavy jig and it's kind of a larger hook. And then I'm using a smaller trailer on here, this creature bait being the trailer. So this thing is like about an ounce. This is meant for going way deep out at your ponds and lakes, you guys. Midday summer fish, think that. Not necessarily shallow water like we're fishing, but I'm just gonna pop them along the bottom and I'm just gonna say I think the fish are gonna hit it just because the action we've been getting the time of day, it's early morning, the bite seems to be on here. So we are just gonna rig this thing up and uh, I wanna just knock this challenge out. I wanna catch fish on every one of these baits. Look at this thing. It's not the most practical. What I would recommend if you were gonna actually do something like this, use a trailer of this size on a jig like this, is uh, you can see the, the pinchers on this creature bait. Not all of them are gonna be displaying all that action and that's because the skirt is so long. Ideally, you trim the skirt up to where you can get all the action out of your flippers and appendages on whatever creature or crawl bait you're using. But like I say, I think popping this along the bottom with those little flippers is gonna get the job done anyways. Let's see what happens. We're actually throwing it on 30 pound white braid just to have some fun. We are just going all out, who cares today? We are back in the danger zone. This is a heavy jig for this rod. Screw it. I don't know what's gonna pick this up, but I assume it'll be decent size. Got him. There we go, on the big jig. Oh wow. Yes, he's taking us. Oh wow, that's a good one, you guys. Oh my gosh, the giant jig brought us a good one. Wow, oh my gosh. This is a big fish, you guys. Wow, what is this, four pounds? No, no, mystery tackle box. Oh my gosh, no way, gotta be kidding. Oh my gosh, a fat healthy one on that fat jig in the shallows. No way. And look, we're anchored down with the bona fide yak. This stick right here, never used it before. Oh, that's called the park and pull. Wow, what a donkey. Wow, yes guys. Guys, biggest one of the morning. This came on this huge football head, basically one ounce jig. There goes my Corrado DC in the water. Probably won't leave that in there for long. On this huge jig, let me try and retrieve the, the goods. Fishing at its finest. You know, sometimes the kayaks don't make it easy. I got this park and pull thing. Where the hook is, who knows. Let's go ahead and weigh this one and get him back in the water. Go ahead and get him on the scale. Three pound, nine ounce, three pound, 10 ounce. Basically, a three and three quarter bass. Super sick on the jig out of the mystery tackle box. Let's go ahead and get him back. Super sick, let's go. Okay, so I've knocked out so far the hula popper I've gotten a catch on as well as that Lucky John crankbait. And so now I'm gonna give these two a try. I'm gonna do the deadbolt mushroom head jig. It's one tenth ounce. And then we're gonna throw on one of these Sakoshi bugs. And actually, I don't think I've ever caught anything on these Sakoshi bugs. So it'll be first for me and that'll be pretty dang cool. And this one that we're gonna be throwing is gonna be the twilight color. So it kind of almost looks like a, a maroonish red flake and on the other side, kind of like a pearlescent white. Gotcha. First one on this Sakoshi bug. Yeah. All right. Oh, does it even count? <laughs> I say it counts. Felt good about that cast because it was right there next to that tree. These little finesse style jig heads and especially the, like this little shikoshi bug since it's so small, I mean it's okay to really work it slow. I've started to really figure out. So I've really been testing my patience ultimately and letting it sit a lot longer than I would almost like to, but I know it's what the fish are usually wanting to see more than it just popping along the bottom a lot faster. Bites. Oh, he was swimming with it. Oh, he might have choked it. No, he's good. He was definitely swimming with it for a good second, though. Talk about a bite. Talk about a bite. Off you go. Bye, bud. Guys, we've caught some good bass on every one of the baits. I think we're going to make a move back out to the main water. We fished this shallow little pocket for a little bit. Let's see what's on out that away.
Are you filming? That'll be like the best footage ever. <laughs> All right guys, hope you enjoyed this action-packed episode, Mystery Tackle Box. Thanks again for sponsoring today's video. We threw all the baits, had a ton of fun. Can't wait for next month's box. Go ahead and get you one, two, or three with the code down below. We managed to catch a fish on almost every bait out of the box, had a ton of fun. Lost a fake black combo in the end. It was pretty crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out. <gasps>